welcome to my channel I hope you are well my name is Courtney today we're gonna do a little bit of a stationary chat I love it when Mitts my life Mitts here on YouTube does stationary Sundays and just chats about stationary it's one of my favorite things that she does we all love a good perv when it comes to stationary and I love journals and all the things that go with journaling so I thought I would have a little bit of a chat uh, about some things that I'm kind of loving I've got uh, a special edition um, Hanami box that I want to unbox on camera a little bit of a chat about my journals and things it'll be a little bit of a chatty video so if you're not into chatty videos then this video is not for you um, I like to talk passionately <laughs> about stationery and supplies and so if you are not into those types of videos please just don't leave me a negative comment saying get to the point uh the whole point is to get your stationery out journal along listen have a little perv of some stationery and just have a relaxing weekend uh okay so let's get started with something new to the studio i currently use a paper mood planner for my work planner it is in normally housed in this little baby uh, this is a strawberry fields cover from paper mood as well it is black leather has the beautiful embossed bird on the front and has the william morris strawberry fields uh fabric i should say inside and has a quote it is beautiful it is a b6 size and it's the first year that i have tried paper mood as a brand normally my work planner has been bullet journals just in astrology i've tried the um hobonichi a5 as a work planner that didn't go well um, I've tried the Jibun Techo, which I was going to do this year because I actually really enjoyed it. Um, but when I saw this brand um, come up on Bun Bugu, which is an Australian stationery store, I'll have it linked down below if you're not uh, familiar with it. Um, it came up and I was like, I really love B6 as a size. It's one of my favorite sizes to travel with for a travel journal. And I have a couple in my stash, but I wanted to have something that was bigger than A6 because because A6 was too small but smaller than A5 because A5 was too big and when I saw B6 I was like this is perfect so I did pick up the cover as you can see and uh, with the paper mood planner it comes in an avec style like the um, Hobonichi I really wish Hobonichi would make a B a B6 size it'd be super cute um, so it has Tomoe River paper in it um, and it has a monthly at the front it's very clean, very um, sort of sophisticated, uh, just a plain monthly with some memo notes on the side. And then it's just got a plain uh, gridded um, layout, almost identical to the Hobonichi, in fact. I have really enjoyed it. As you can see, it's my work planner is nothing to behold. It is a crazy mess. There's lots of bits and pieces in there. I'm going to cover this up because it's my father-in-law's information. Um, and whenever I don't actually use a page for work, I will just cover the dates and add certain things over the top for just general ideas and brain dumping. And then I'll come to this little section at the front. And then I will just pop down almost like an index what it is. So that's currently my work planner. But the reason why I'm talking about it is because I just got this beautiful, beautiful cover in the mail from the lovely LaCau and LaWright. Um, I saw, I think Mitz had it on her. I've seen this color featured on Seaweed Kisses and also Mitz has I think something very similar uh, in this beautiful green color with the sort of um, light camel brown. Um, I'm not sure of the colors but I loved it and I asked uh, Diamond if he could make me a B6 cover with the grab and go strap on the front. I have a grab and go in the red and the nude and I love it. A pocket on the front and to have almost like a folio style. I didn't want elastics. I just wanted it to be a cover for it and it's got the little pockets for card slots and then at the back I have a secretarial pocket as well. 
and I absolutely adore it. It is feels so nice. Uh, it's I ha don't have any leather in my collection that feels that the way that this does. I I just love it so much and i'm a very matchy matchy girl so i was like getting out my supplies that would uh go with it um because this is one of the uh stationary selection collabs for um the stationary selection box and i loved that it matched <laughs> really nicely i love it when my stationery looks really nice all together um just for my own aesthetics not for flat lays or for anything like that it is just purely because I love it when crap matches. I really do. Um, so I have a very kawaii style uh, pastel and all that sort of stuff with my sweet pink leather cover. And I have things that sort of relate to that, like my um, cinnamon roll pencil case. It's all very kawaii. But sometimes when I want to just tone it back a bit, I do go for the more earth tones. And I just loved this color when I saw it. And it feels so good. Hear that? Oh yeah. So this is my work planner and I absolutely cannot be happier. Um, I think maybe the paper mood is slightly bigger than B6 because when I tried to put my cover in, it didn't quite fit. But I generally like keeping my covers like this anyway with the one thing slipped in um, because I like to put crap in my pockets. Um, and I really do like the look of the actual embossing of the... Um, paper mood so there is my current work planner and i just absolutely love it um diamond has an etsy store and also a facebook group where he goes live quite often um and i've got quite a few covers from him and he has got an excellent um service fantastic customer service and he's been really fantastic with you know helping people realize um and design their own things he has never said no to me if i've asked for a certain thing i've just really enjoyed uh working with him and owning some of his products so i thought i would show you my little matchy matchy um on my traveler's notebook i actually just popped on this little star charm this is my original midori and she is one of my favorite covers and i just happened to pick up the little uh, superior labor star charm i really love adding custom things to my notebooks i've been collecting like these little charms from my trips um and i've got like pretty much everything in here uh this one i got customized with balm kuhan uh i actually sent this baby all the way to um overseas i was stressed about it but i really wanted to have one of my ogs customized because it is just an og midori it's one of the ones uh if you watched the stationary cafes podcast i talked about ordering a whole heap of uh traveler's notebooks for some aussies because back way back when <laughs> um it was really hard to get japanese stationery and so when we found a supplier of traveler's notebooks that would ship to australia um we all did a massive group buy i organized a group by and this is my notebook from this i got a passport as well um and so i really wanted this to be customized and as you can see it's had a lot of love it's been everywhere it's got a lot of patina um i love that i went with the pen on the front um it does fit like a fat kaweco if you are wondering i actually asked about the pen loop um before i got it put on because her husband were Keiko husband has the pen loop on the front of his and I'd always eyed his off and it was always beautiful and so I asked a couple of questions and again they were fantastic customer service for Bam Kuhan is amazing um inside I've just got some of these and the leather insert that I picked up while I was in Japan um and this is my notebook that i kind of go to when i don't have anything date specific i decorate it and then leave the pages sort of blank so that when i want to come in and do a bit of a heart purge that's something that i don't want to talk about i don't want to have it posted in my hobonichi i just want it to be for me um i will come to this journal i'm actually going to be working in this journal um very soon not in this video obviously but because there's a midori challenge i'd like to participate in i've printed out the little uh 
the little uh, prompt sheet and I want to have a go at playing here because I really do love the standard size uh, quite a lot actually and uh, being in a hobo it's um, it, it makes you miss this sort of size as well so I had to work out a way to put this into my lineup without uh, overwhelming myself and having just a sort of almost like almost like a dear diary um, journal and just sort of a no fuss doesn't matter when I do it just enjoy the process pace uh, this is definitely for this uh, hot tip if you get any of the superior labor products uh, that are mounted onto uh, leather I suggest because if you've got a Midori and you don't have the pen clip or you want to add more uh, this is something that I did a couple of years ago now this one's held up really really well is you get a um, one of the writing boards from uh, Travelers Factory because they're good quality they're plastic and they just work really well this is not the superior labor this is just an excess piece of leather that I had lying around but this works just as good I used some real, uh, like the E5000, E6000, whatever, the really hardcore glue, um, and then just glued it to my pen board. And then you've got a built in pencil board, uh, built in, <laughs> built in pencil board, built in pen loop. I actually hand stamped with stays on ink this one before I attached it. So I had the letter C and added a few um, of the beautiful um, Chamille Gardens stamps that I have and a few others that I've collected and then just added that in but you could do the same thing with the superior labor uh, leather that you get and then just pop them on it's nice and thin it's not obtrusive and I've got a couple of these and so I'll probably add one to my passport as well um, and then you've got a built-in pen loop as well and you've got a beautiful piece of leather I just think it's such a nice touch that they add these um, to like the brass pins and things. So like these little things are normally backed onto those as well as the my star charm. This is what my star charm was on. Obviously the pins have a small hole but if it's folded over it doesn't really matter. You're not going to see it and I just think it's a, a cute little hot tip. I've had a whole, I've had a couple of people ask me about this on Instagram when they see uh, this when I do show this traveler's notebook in my feed or in my stories. Um, so yeah, that's just a, an idea for you. Uh, moving on, I'm going to talk about my Sticky Club um, Cherry Blossom box. I'm going to unbox it on camera and have a little chat. Hey, okay. this beautiful box was I pre-ordered it. I think they still have some available on the Sticky Club website or Studio Absent. I will leave links down below if you're interested but this is the cherry blossom box uh, that I pre-ordered I have opened it up I have looked at it I've pulled everything out I am a kid who has no self-control and I just wanted to have a look at everything when it arrived so I apologize that everything is just sort of placed back in uh, and it was beautifully wrapped as well so I have done all the things that I probably shouldn't do this is why I can't have nice things um, but the reason why I actually picked it up um, absent studio there we go is this was the thing that got me this beautiful little thing with the perfect little window um, is actually a washi tape holder it's so freaking cute these washies came in the collab as well and they are just so beautiful they're all cherry blossom themed I absolutely love it and when I saw just the washi tape holder I was like I'm done I'm sold so I did pre-order the box and it came uh, probably about a week and a half ago now it is all cherry blossom themed as you know I'm a huge pink lover if you didn't know that already then uh hi I'm Courtney and I'm pink obsessed uh these are beautiful stickers I love them so much they are so cute I love that they also feature the designers tag down below who designed them which I think is fantastic so you can go check out the other artists that have designed for them I know from um past experience I am uh, part of I like I subscribe to the sticky club for the cute packs most of the time and I love checking out the artists that design things because it's a great way to discover new artists especially if you like their style so they were the stickers that came in the pack I really love the Sakura and Matcha it is beautiful these are slightly raised 
but they are also lovely and these are almost like washi stickers they're very very thin also in the pack we got this beautiful little envelope i love things like this i love keeping sticker sheets because they look like it is the perfect size to keep sticker sheets in so like so i have mine really badly organized um but i do love things like this because i am a collage artist at heart i carry a lot of paper scraps i can't help it wherever i go paper scraps follow um so this will be well used and loved it's got the sakura pattern on the front i wish it was slightly clear so you could see what you have in there but i understand why they did it as well it is very beautiful very pink i'm all for the pink this was a cute little pin that came in it this will probably go on my pouch it is a little cherry blossom ice cream with some penguins and also has the artist imagine station down below which i love this is the sakura dessert this is a pen i loved i love everything about this box i sound like a broken record but i really do love that they curated such a beautiful box uh i have seen these pens in other places i think but i'm glad it came in the box because everyone wants to embrace their in a five-year-old i don't care who you are but i love i used to love those pencils with like the feathers on top the puffy pom-pom stars trolls if you're from my age, i'm showing my age now troll dolls on top of your pencils with the crazy hair the crazier the better you were the cool kid if you have a tiny troll doll on the top of your pencil with it's like hot pink hair i loved collecting trolls i wish they'd bring them back um so i love like pens with cute things on top it's just it's playful and it's fun these uh, when i actually first opened these i was like what is this they say memo holder and i actually went and looked it up so they're individual little paper clips that you can hold things up but they're in the shape of cherry blossom petals so cute i actually when i read it memo holder i thought there was gonna have to put a memo pad in between them all and i was like that doesn't work like i had a full-on spesh moment but i love i love these they're so cute now that i know what they're for and how i can use them i think they'll be great to hold photos up around my desk as well um i don't know if i could bend them to turn them into cute paper clips because there's already two paper clips in here but these were a cute addition probably my least favorite item in the uh whole box but still very sweet my daughter tried to steal this this is a little cherry blossom photo album i thought it was i was i'm not going to use the photos i'm actually going to put sticker flakes inside these little these little pockets um but you could also put tiny little photographs that's how they marketed it in the actual website um but it's really cute it's like a jelly glitter like a soft pink jelly glitter and i guess if you don't love the little uh booklet you could take off the cherry blossom um keychain and attach it to something else i did think about that as well um so that came with that we also got two really beautiful uh cherry blossom uh paper clips they are so cute um and they have the pink one and the white one so you can see them there and the last thing that came in the box was a beautiful sketchbook or notebook. Has the same Sakura Matcha um, from the sticker set that you saw. And it's got embossed uh, cherry blossoms on them. It's got a Coptic binding stitch and really nice cream paper in here. And the paper is really nice quality. Um, I probably have, have the piece of paper roaming around that sort of explains the paper, uh, but it's still, it feels almost like Midori MD paper, to be honest. Um, and that paper is really, really lovely. It's a really nice size. It's a thing, I wanna say it's B6. Um, Cause it's bigger than, yeah. It's like B6 size just slightly smaller than b6 
but super super cute and I love the design so I, I man I just really love stationery so I think if they're still available to buy some on the website I'll have them linked below uh, if not if the link's not there it means they are currently sold out um, I hope that they make these in different colors because I think this was such a cute idea um, I will definitely be carrying this on my little journal outings when I go to like little crop meets uh, not very often but every now and again I also I meet a friend in the city to journal and I think this will be a great way to take some washi tape with me. I have washi sample cards and everything but I just I just think this is really cute and the whole reason why I bought the box. I mean come on as if I wasn't gonna buy a pink themed cherry blossom box. I missed the cherry blossom season by like three days when I got to visit Japan um, and so this is definitely a way to console yourself uh, but I absolutely love this. So that is almost everything. I think I, what I'll do is I will show you a couple more things that I'm really loving at the moment and give you a quick sneak peek into what my journal is looking like currently, my Hobonichi, and then that'll be me done for some station. I want to chat a little bit and very quickly about a brand that I found last year, early last year, I think, and have been slowly, very slowly collecting their tapes and their other merchandise, and it's called Meatball. Uh, two places I know that currently sell it that I know of is Paper Game Co. on Etsy. There also is papergameco.co.uk, I think. And also London Gifties are the two places that I know sell the merchandise. There are quite a few knockoff places I've noticed that do the same sort of style, but it's not the proper meatball tape. Um, but this is my small and humble collection and it's taken me a really long time to get this far because they are quite expensive. Now I know Paper Game Co. offers sample packs so you can sample the tapes, which I probably should do, but I just think that they are so fantastic value for money. I do buy one to two every time I order from Paper Game Co. Um, I highly suggest if you are not in their shipping country that you buddy up and uh, share the shipping because the shipping is a little bit pricey. I'm so used to that as an Aussie. We pay through our noses for shipping all the time. So I normally do group order with friends. Um, but they are washi tape, but it's like a, almost like a sticker because you peel the back off and they have really long repeats. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. Um, I've been buying the color series, so they're all like, um, this is the sepia toned one, and you can see that it goes on and on and on. It is beautiful. There are some fantastic, uh, stickers, or not stickers, there are some fantastic designs. I don't even have half of what they sell. Um, I have the purple in the color theory, and I have the pink and the sepia at the moment. I think I'll probably buy green next and they're just so cute. Um, I generally will cut them up and pop them in a pouch so that I've got them on the go because they're just great for space filling. So you can see the pink one there. Um, they also do numbers, which I have bought a few of, and the numbers are like multiple repeats. So you can see the numbers there. So they go from 1 to 31, like the months, and then it'll change to a different type. And I think there's three or four different full designs, and they are just so cool. I love them so very much. I discovered them through Tisha Moore, um, who is one of my favorite collage artists. She had them in her Hobonichi, and when I asked her about them, she pointed me towards Meatball and Paper Game Co., and it's been, <laughs> I've loved them ever since. They also do cute ones that are like stationary themed. Um, so there's lots of like journaling and pens and washi tape day and busy doing nothing. I just, it's just really sweet and cute. And the fact that you get so many designs on one roll is just fantastic. I can't recommend them enough. They are, like I said, a bit pricey, but you can get sample packs from Paper Game Co. if you just want to test out something before you buy it. This one's like a more muted patchwork tone. Um, my recent purchases were these ones, so like almost like chores and um, really cute 
oh, it's just, I just can't, I just can't. I love the style. I love how colorful and bright they are. Um, I also picked up one that's got like daily outfits. Um, this was my most recent purchase. And then I have picked up things like this, which is like a memo pad. And there are no repeats. This is all single designs. They're black and white. They're really great for coloring in. They're really thick paper. Um, so I grabbed this one, which was the spring, I mean, the summer 2020. They have all different seasons and there are literally no repeats, but they're great for little journaling spots and tip-ins. And I love that you can just customize it and color it yourself. Um, so there's that one. I also picked up these little memo pads as well. They are super cute, great for pen pals and stuff like that. But I obviously have cut them up, used them in my journaling, in my weekly spreads. Ugh, I just, I can't, I love them. Uh, this was also my latest purchase. It's like a pen case. And inside when um, my girlfriend and I shared shipping, she gave me the ones from her order because I we ordered different patterns. So I swap tape with her all the time. Um, and this time she got like the boba one. This one is like on a clear tape. So you can see there. Oh, and then bakery. Oh, there's just so many. So this is basically how I travel with them. I cut them down and put them into pouches. And they just sort of are like little stickers. Portable stickers almost. So these are one of my favorite finds and favorite things that I've purchased in the last year. And I just, I know a lot of people already know about them. But I love, I just want more people, more people to know about the Meatball brand. Because uh, they are super cute. Uh, I'd love to order from London Gifties. But her shipping for an Aussie is crazy, crazy high. Um, so I'm going to have to do a group order for her. I know they do postcards and they do other things things but I have yet to be able to get my hands on some of those uh, and I absolutely love them. So now all I'm going to do now is probably pop all this away and do a quick quick flip through my journal and then stationary sunday will come to we a have my hobonichi in a bam kuhan studio um studio superior labor uh cover and i am dealing with the fact that i own that i have a black cat and her fur is everywhere it drives me a little bit crazy um but i absolutely love this cover i've been eyeing it off i got the a6 uh, not the A6, the wallet insert for the passport and loved it so much that I picked up the A5 um, cover for it for my hobo when I want to be a little bit more minimal and I'm not packing my pockets of my sweet pink leather one for days and days. This is my slim line <laughs> because sometimes I'm going to need it with the fatness of my journal. Um, so doing a quick, very, very quick uh, flip of my hobo in its current state. If you're a patron of mine, you can probably click off now because you've seen this um, in all its glory. Uh, so I will have a monthly tutorial video up probably soon. We're going to chat about doing the monthly spread in your A5 and my tips and tricks and decorate my uh, March spread on camera for you guys so that cart that is coming up I currently use my weeklies as gratitude and some get filled in some don't and it's a-okay I love trying to think of different themes different colors uh, you can see some of the meatball tape up here using a lot of my collage sheets uh, showing that I've got depression is definitely something you can tell when there is not that much around <laughs> on the weekly spread it's because something's happening with me behind the scenes uh, basically and so part of me wants to fill them in and part of me just wants to list let it ride so we are currently here so that's what my weekly spreads look like at the moment. I'm really enjoying them. I think they are really fun and an easy way to sort of experiment with themes, experiment with color palettes without sort of uh, too much fuss. And I really like this, this one that I did. I did this on camera for a Patreon video. Uh, so let's wa walk into the flip. I was going to do monthly flips and I may still do that. Um, but I take so long to finish my pages, uh, that I have yet to even flip January cause it ain't finished. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how we go guys. We'll try our hardest. I use mixture of collage and color and tip-ins. Um, 
lots and lots of tip-ins. Tip-in is my favourite. I love it when pages are interactive. I love it when they have a soul, when they're filled with photographs and colour and lots of layering. This is why my journal is so fat, because I have no self-control. So lots of fun things. I love tipping in mail and notes from people. Um, I've got lots of craziness happening. Sometimes it's just a photo on a page. Working through the stationery cafe, uh, I, January to February prompts, but for me it's any time. Uh, I'm currently still going to write about my favourite washi tape, so I have um, a reason why I picked the 10 that I did. The stick of flate wreath, which gave me so much grief. <laughs> Um, OHTs that are like transparencies from my collage sheets. I love just having lots of tip-ins. Sometimes um, I will just come back and write whatever I'm feeling that's not date specific and if that is the case I'll probably write up the top that it's not part of this day, it's just general writing. Tipping in happy mail from patrons that I pledged to. When I got my plotter from Mitts. This has got something that I can't show. Working and playing with coloured inks with fountain pen inks. That'll be a, another Stationery Sunday video where I talk about fountain pen inks and working with using colour for my writing, um, which I'm having a blast with at the moment. The, I always didn't want to show my journal when it was so incomplete because this is what I do for a job but at the same time I want people to know that it's okay if your journals are not fully fledged all complete up to date daily journaling like a boss because sometimes life gets in the way sometimes the apocalypse gets in the way there is all these reasons why people aren't filling their journals to their capacity and I'm out here doing my best, trying my best. I'll fill my pages in slowly. I do jump around when I journal. I don't just journal chronologically, and I have come to accept that. I've tried really hard to be a chronological journaler, believe me. But it's just not in my DNA. I enjoy flipping through my pages and finding little pockets and spots that I can work on and create with. I enjoy um, finding those little pieces of perfect ephemera or perfect stickers that match a spread that may have been like last month they are some of my favorite things to do so that's why a lot of my pages are in this sort of state because i'll slowly build on them and sometimes i don't have time to work on a full page spread because uh, i've got other commitments i've got other things i should be doing so working in bits and pieces jumping back and forward is totally okay and not everyone can machine journal and just you know pump out journal pages left and right i find journaling is such a personal experience that I have to be in the mood, I have to really want to play, I have to have, not like, I don't have to have the stars align or anything like that, but I really do have to want to be creative in my journal. And so that's why some of the pages just don't get finished right away because if I'm not in the mood I don't want to force journaling I never want journaling to feel like a chore especially when journaling should be linked to a happy emotion or just a, a healthy emotion um, some pages are completely finished and that's okay too some of the completed pages are finished because I've done them for a patreon video um, and then there are times when I've got absolutely nothing so we're all the way here in March so I am so behind i'm currently working my i'm trying my best but i think we should normalize unfinished journals and unfinished journal pages because life is hard and sometimes ugh, i don't think journals should be hidden away and not shown because they're not completely finished i just don't think that that's okay i don't think that anyone should be like feel ashamed that they don't have completed monthly flip throughs of their journal believe me I've, i'm i'm pep talking myself at the same time um, i'm trying to remind myself that i'm human and that my journal is a reflection of my life and i have flaws so my journal's gonna have flaws and i don't call having blank pages a flaw don't get me wrong um, but I also need to just 
go with the flow and what happens happens if it gets full it gets full great if it doesn't so what who cares there's always another notebook on the horizon there is so i hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me and having a chat and i hope you enjoyed this type of video if you'd like to see more stationary sunday videos i could probably do one one a month for you guys if you're interested because uh, i do really love talking stationary and um this is a great way to sort of share that love without feeling guilty about it <laughs> i hope you have a fantastic day guys and i'll talk to you again soon bye